Hi, good day everyone. So this video would just be a short one completing our quadratics topic, okay? So we'll be doing some harder topics in quadratic equations as well as the quadratic formula, okay? Uh, before we get started, just make sure to, you know, like and you know, leave some comments no matter how short it may be because, you know, YouTube likes to see plenty of comments and likes on videos. So we could get the YouTube channel running, right? Okay. So let's start. So let's take, for example, this quadratic equation here, x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. We've been doing tons of those in our last class. And what I want to tell you is that all quadratic, quad, quadratic equations have the same formula that looks like this. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, right? So if we compare it to our example over here, our a is really 1 because, you know, we don't write the 1 in front of the x. Our b would be 5 and our c would be 6, okay? So all quadratic equations have that formula. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And remember, to solve these equations, we simply needed to factorize and then we would solve for x after. Right, so we know how to do that. And again, if you don't know how to factorize like this, you can simply refer to the last video that we did where we taught how to factorize, okay? Right, and again, from our last class, remember the hardest part of this factorization was figuring out um, which numbers would multiply to give the last number and then if they would add up to give the middle number, right? Because... 2 multiplied by 3 would give 6, and then 2 plus 3 would give 5, and that's how we knew that we were correct, right? And it did not matter whether the 3 was over here or the 2 was over here, because 3 by 2 is still 6, and 3 plus 2 is still 5, right? But this is only because our a, remember the a is before the x squared was 1, right? So if it is not 1, then the order begins to matter where we put these numbers now okay so let's let's take an example here let's show you how to multiply one more time all right so remember if we want to get back the original equation when we have our brackets we simply need to multiply the brackets right and the first multiplies by the first right and that gives our first you see everything in blue here x by x give x squared then we also need to multiply x by 2 to give 2x right then we have the 2x over here then finally, we need to take the second thing now, so the 3 will multiply by the x again to give 3x. And then the last by the last will give the last, right? So we already had the first, and we already had the last. The only thing we needed was the middle, and 2x plus 3x gives 5x. And that's how we knew that we were correct. And that's how you multiply brackets, right? So now, let's take an example where a is not 1. In this example, a is 2 now. Right? So we have 2x squared plus 8x plus 6 equals 0. So this changes everything, okay? Because we need to put the 2x into one of the brackets when we're factorizing, okay? So let's check out the answer first, and then we could go back to how we actually got the answer, right? So this here is the factorization for the um, equation. As you can see, we had to put 2x here, and then when you multiply by the x, you will get your 2x squared, right? So that's, that's the important thing I want you to remember. We need to include the a now, right? Which is 2. So let's expand the brackets and see what we get using the same kind of multiplication as before. Alright? So the first multiplies by the first to give the first. Alright? So 2x by x gives 2x squared. The 2x also needs to multiply by the 3. 2 by 3 is 6. So this becomes 6x. Then the 2 needs to multiply by the x to give 2x. And then the last by the last gives the last, as usual. Okay? Then when we add them up now, we get 2x squared plus 8x plus 6, which is what we had before. Okay? So that's how we know that was the answer. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So, as we have seen from this example now, when the first terms multiply, we will get back the x squared, right? And when the last terms multiply, we get back the c, okay? So the only hard part is the term in the middle number, right? Because remember, if we had put this 2 where the 3 was over here, 
then it would have been this 2x multiplying by the 2 instead and that would have given us a wrong answer so we need to know now which number to put there all right that number is right so you see this area here where we put in this number is the important one this is what is being multiplied by whatever a is okay so a is 2 this number over here will be multiplying by the a the number over here will not be multiplying by the a okay so that is very very important so let's try another example now to see if we got this 2x squared plus 13x plus 15 equals 0 okay so as usual we put the first two terms those are the easiest right if you want to get 2x squared you put 2x in one part you put x in the other part you're good to go okay um this is supposed to be 2x squared here okay, right? okay. all right so how do we get the 15 obviously it had 15 by 1 1 by 15 negative 15 by negative 1 but then we get to the 3 and the 5 and the negative 3 and negative 5 right so obviously the answer is not 15 and 1 that, that that's not right okay so with some trial and error we got that the numbers were 3 and 5 it could never be minus 3 and minus 5 because when you add minus 3 to minus 5 and so any two negative numbers when you add them you always remain with a negative number and clearly the middle number here is positive okay so we're dealing with positive numbers okay so the challenge now is which one goes in the magic circle okay does the 5 go there or does the 3 go there so before we do that we need to whatever one we want to put here we need to multiply it by 2 which is a and then we add the other number to it so let's see if I put 3 here right the 3 is multiplying by the 2 to give me 6. And then I have to add 5, which is 11, and that is not 13, okay? So therefore, I need to change that. I need to put the 5 here. So now the 2 will multiply by the 5 to give 10. And then remember, the 3 will come here, and that's not multiplying by anything. So we just add the 3, and we get the 13 that we wanted, okay? So that's how it's done, right? Okay, and this is just notes of what I just said. Okay, if we did it the other way, we would get 11, not 13. Right, so therefore, when we factorize, we get 2x plus 3 into x plus 5. Then you solve it now, just like a basic algebra. Again, if you're not sure about how to solve them, go back into the last video. And if you're not sure about algebra yet, you go back to the video before that. Okay, we have everything here. Good. Um, I will, after you guys watch the video, I will send you guys practice questions later. And you can practice and send me on WhatsApp, okay? Alright. So let's move on now to this quadratic formula. Now, a lot of people don't like the quadratic formula because it's quite, it has a lot of letters and stuff in it, but it's actually very, very simple if you understand what's going on, right? So, now, so far in our classes, we have been able to solve quadratic equations because the factorization involved easy numbers right you know whole numbers like five and three and two and stuff like that but what if the answer was some kind of fraction or decimals that we couldn't just come up with like 3.412 or something like that right we can't just come up with that in our heads and say ah this multiplies by this one to give this answer then we could add this 3.141 to next 7.625 to get the answer we can't do that in our head right so in those examples now we can't really factorize to give ourselves the answer we need to put in a formula okay so let's take this first example x squared plus 4x plus 2 equals 0 no matter how hard you try you can't get whole numbers that multiply to give 2 and add to give 4 like i know 2 by 1 will give 2 but 2 plus 1 will give 3 i can't i can't dream up to get 4 there right good so we can't factorize this is where the quadratic formula is used now remember all quadratic equations look like this ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero and it's those three letters the a the b and the c that the quadratic uses okay so in our example the a is one the b is four the c is two so all we have to do now is put it into this big equation here. It's very simple if you take a look at it by parts, right? So the first part is minus b. So whatever b is, we put in a minus sign in front of it. 
plus or minus now the plus or minus is there because remember when you're square rooting something remember i told you before the square root of 25 it could have been 5 by 5 to give 25 or minus 5 by minus 5 will also give you 25 so when you square root in something you have two answers a positive answer and a negative answer so that's where the plus or minus comes in okay so now you're square rooting b squared so we're still on b b squared and then we minus in 4 multiplied by a whatever a is and also multiplied by c whatever c is okay so let's put in the values for our letters now so we had b is 4 so this is minus 4 minus b right the square root put plus or minus square root now b is 4 right so we square in the 4 so 4 squared and now we are minusing this number will always be 4 okay don't don't get confused about that right so 4 into a which is 1 into c which is 2 and then all over we, we divide in everything by 2 multiplied by a and a is 1 right so let's simplify now obviously the b will just remain as minus 4 then the square root in 4 squared is 4 by 4 which is 16 and then minus 4 by 1 is still minus 4 anything by 1 is itself and then minus 4 by 2 is minus 8 so this becomes 16 minus 8 that's in the square root sign all over 2 because 2 by 1 is 2 we could further simplify this now into minus 4 plus or minus 8 16 minus 8 is 8 so square root of 8 all over 2 and this we are almost done here now this is where we split them up right remember it could be plus or minus so therefore x could be minus 4 plus the square root of 8 all over 2 or minus 4 minus the square root of 8 all over 2 so that's how you get your two separate x values and all you have to do now is put this into your calculator and you will end up with these final answers here and you have solved for x and no factorization needed right but we don't do this big long formula for all quadratics because factorizing is just quicker okay so this is where you have a difficult factorization or you just cannot factorize using whole numbers right it's very simple it's just a whole set of substitution with your numbers right you just need to remember and learn off the formula make sure your signs are correct and make sure your algebra is sound okay so again i will give you questions like this to practice and eventually you will master it and you'll become confident in it and you'll be able to do everything you need to do with it okay so as i told you guys it was a very short video today so i hope you guys watch the video and therefore you should be able to do the questions that follow okay but thank you all for listening and thank you all for watching and i'll catch you in class next week okay